Hey guys, I am back thrifting in Sheridan, Arkansas. If you miss the first video, I will put a link in the description. It kind of tells you the history of this place and why, why I'm here. But basically, we are thrifting, finding tons of amazing stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh, a whole little basket of spools. Wow, love, love, love these. Yeah, y'all definitely need to go check out the other videos that I posted because around every corner is just tons of amazing things. Oh, look at this big green one. So cool. I love these green bubble top jars. I actually have some amber glass ones like this. They're just so pretty and unique. And this rusty, crusty cowbell. I'm currently working on filling up my third cart and I haven't even gotten that far in the store. So it'll be interesting to see by the end how many carts I fill up. I showed y'all this in the last video and I think we need to get it. I like the rustic look of this Christmas tree as well. I think it's just styled perfectly. Ooh, ooh, some of these sugar molds. I need to add these to the cart. These are definitely old. They are not reproductions. These will look great with a Christmas tree as well. I think this is an old hamster cage. It is. I love that little hamster wheel right here. It's rusty and crusty the way that we love it. These little wood pieces. It's a handle for something. I feel like I should keep this in my stash in case I find something that needs a little screw in handle. Oh, y'all. Look at this setup. Oh, they have tons of horns or antlers or whatever this is called. It's not something I normally pick up, but they have a lot of them here. Look, there's a whole big cart of them right here. So if y'all are interested in that or anything that you see in this video that I didn't purchase, definitely let me know. But this is what I want to show y'all. So it's an old clipboard and then it has a picture. I just love how they have that styled. This large rolling bucket would be perfect for a Christmas tree. You know I'm getting all the spools of thread. We can just go ahead and just put them all in my cart. I really like this little hand carved physician sign. Definitely feel like somebody needs this. It has a hanger on the back too so you could hang it on the wall. I think it'd be cute just as a little shelf sitter kind of how it is here. I really like this little leather bag. It says it's an, oh, it's an ammo pouch. I like it. I'm definitely going to get these two pieces. Let's see what is on this little porch right here. They have an old rake. I love how they have the swing right here with all of the old quilts on it. I'm going to have to look through. I don't know if I'm be getting quilts or not. I do love the colors in this one. But, I don't know, it's in pretty rough shape. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about quilts. And then I showed y'all this um, little bin with all these antlers. This is cute. It looks like an old ashtray, but it's wood. That would make a great plant stand. And then they have this old rusty dolly right here. There's a basket with floral at the bottom. I like this like this little kitchen tea towel I feel like that has to come home with us that'd be great hanging on a hook or you could frame this too and then here's some architectural salvage pieces I'll probably be getting those these pieces caught my eye but I had no clue what they were luckily a lot of stuff has tags so they are vintage burners they do have little holes in them so you could stick a little bit of floral or something in there if you want it but I just think they are interesting as is here's the old drawer full of scissors pine cones found a bunch of these framed dried floral pieces I saw these all over at Lantamark and they are definitely in style right now. 
I absolutely love them. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm about to go <laughs> through this basket and see which ones I want. Maybe I'll buy them all. I don't know. I'm going to see what they have, but I'm for sure can this one right here. That's beautiful. It's, a, it's coming off a little bit brighter on camera, but it's kind of like an olive green color. Gorgeous. There's an entire basket of these. I think they are cats, kind of look like nautical cats. It says funky, whimsical folk art. Pretty positive they're handmade. Y'all let me know if y'all like these or not. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get another cart. Cart number three is currently full. A whole bin of these little rusty things. Do y'all know what they are? Let's see, they do sit flat. Do y'all like this? I think this be cute little planters. Or the little spools that I'm getting you can make a little vignette. They are definitely rusty and crusty. Oh, they have holes in the back so you could actually put them on the wall too. Ooh, or you could put them on a piece of wood. I don't know. I'm um, probably going to leave them here this trip, but y'all let me know if y'all like these. I think I said this in the other video, but not this one yet. I'm probably going to make several trips here. So if you see anything that you really liked that I did not pick up, just leave me a comment and then that way I will know. Oh, look at this old rusty, crusty truck. Um, that way next time I come, I will know. Like there's just so much y'all, so much. You know this little piece caught my eye and then look what the tag says weird pottery vase <laughs> totally have to get this all right this is weird and a little bit creepy so i think i'm going to leave her here this basket is precious i love the color of it and the texture and that it has two little handles Oh, this is pretty. Look at the flowers on this. The patina is beautiful. Brass planter. I really like this. Here's the shabby chic room. Lots of dolls and linens. Some chippy white chairs. Look at this blanket. <laughs> it's cute. And then, oh, look at that cabinet. If you walk through here, this is like the man cave log cabin area. I love these metal bins right here. And I love the stuff that's in them. Look all these crusty brushes. This looks like some belts. Um, I don't know what that is. Here's some shoe forms or some shoe stretchers right here. Lots of crusty buckets and look at all of these tools right here. This is actually a wire brush right here and it has this metal on both sides. I love the look of this and you can put a picture or some type of ephemera right here. I love the look of this piece. I think it's handmade with some old string around it. I think that looks really cool. And then I just showed y'all this bucket, but this is it up close. It's a great size. It has a hole in it, so you could hang it on a hook if you wanted. It would look perfect <laughs> with a Christmas tree this time of year. Look how pretty and rustic that is. This cart is looking pretty rusty and crusty. Also picked up this blue cowbell. Super cute and rusty. I think that is going to be it for today's video, but we are not even close to done shopping, y'all. We still have so many more things to look through. So this is going to be a series of videos. If you haven't seen the ones before this, make sure you check them out. If 
make sure you have your notifications on so you don't miss the ones that come after this and all of these items that I am purchasing will be available on my next vintage drop I do it the first Wednesday of every month on my website in the home decor section and I will have everything linked in the description including how you can come shop here as well so hope y'all enjoy today's thrifting adventure. Definitely leave me a comment below. What is the, your favorite item that I purchased today? And if you saw anything that you think I should come back and get, y'all leave a comment. Are these wood? Oh my gosh, they are. Those are adorable. Okay, we're adding those to the cart. What are they? Oh, they're just little wood containers love the shape of them okay i'm going i will see y'all tomorrow